Here's how to make fight scene movie magic. No person, place or thing was harmed in the making of this video, except your mind being blown by this epic edit. Hi, my name is Raghav from the YouTube channel Shutter Authority. Today I'm going to show you how to create this effect in After Effects and Premiere Pro. So we have two main effects. Guy 1 sends Guy 2 flying all the way to the city and then Guy 2 turns into a giant and rises up. So here's how to shoot it. Find a suitable location to shoot this and get your acting socks on. Set the camera on a tripod and shoot the fake punch like this. Next get a shot of the giant standing up. It would be best if you can film the two roles without overlapping each other, except for the fake punch. This will make things a little bit easier. Make sure to get a clean plate which is basically the same framing without the actors in it. That done, time for some VFX. Bring your footage into After Effects. In case your footage seems a little bit shaky, you will need to stabilize it in the tracker panel. Find two high contrast points that stay in the view the entire duration and then track forwards and then press apply. Now we're all set to create the first effect. Well done if you made it so far. So start at the frame where the punch supposedly makes contact. Double click on the layer and click on the roto brush tool and then draw over guy 1 to extract him. Move through the frames and remove any excess areas by drawing while pressing the alt key. Press freeze once it's done. Now you've got a rotoscoped version of guy 1. Arrange your layer such that a mask clean plate hides guy 2 after the fake punch makes contact and the rotoscoped guy 1 is on top of it. With me so far? Great. The next step is to get guy 2 flying across the skyline. Pick a good frame where guy 2 is in a suitable posture to be flying. Freeze the frame and mask him out. Make that a 3D layer by turning the 3D switch on. Now add a keyframe in its initial position and push the layer back on the Z axis. And adjust the trajectory using the Bezier handles. I also added keyframes for rotation to make him tilt a little bit as he's flying. Making it a 3D layer instead of just scaling it down makes sure that his trajectory and timing look more realistic. Whoa, look at that, more than 50% through. Okay, now the giant rising part. You will need to cut out guy 2 as he rises in your footage. I drew a simple mask around him and used a series of color key effects to achieve this. Now you can animate the giant scale as he rises but it looks like he's standing in front of the buildings. So you will need to duplicate your clean plate and carefully mask the buildings in the skyline and place the giant layer underneath the masked buildings layer. Notice how the haze makes everything at a distance appear washed out and lighter? Use the gradient ramp effect to make the giant feel like he's standing behind the buildings. To spice things up a bit, I've used this cool shatter effect to have the two buildings that he appears to stamp shatter. Adjust the pattern, radius, force strength and gravity to get it looking right. Great! Now it's all about adding some stuff to make it even more realistic. I've added some dust when the punch happens and when the buildings shatter added an adjustment layer and applied the ripple and bulge effects as the punch happens to give it more force. I also added this fiery shockwave on top to make it feel a bit magical. Now check that out. Pre-compose everything and add some general camera shake using the wiggle expression. To make specific impact jerks, animate the position to make it shake whenever necessary. Next, render the comp and bring it over to Premiere Pro. Drag the video into the timeline to create a sequence. Next, import all the sound effects you'll be using for this video and start placing them where they should be. You can use multiple tracks to mix as many sounds that will be playing all at once. Finally, let's color grade the shot using Lumetri Color. First, I increased the saturation a little bit and then I played with the color wheels until I was happy with the look. All right, now let's check out the final result. Wow, what a view. Can you give me a lift to downtown? Oh yeah, sure. Stand right here. Yeah. Ready, steady. All 
All right, that's about it for this tutorial. I really hope you found it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in a future tutorial. Bye.